This is a little inn called Lions and Lanterns. Let me get my light right there. It's a pretty, pretty basic house, basic in the sense that there's nothing architecturally um, out of this world about it. Older home, sturdy, well built, and it's now divided into multiple units. There's a unit there. There's this unit here, the Isabella, which I'm about to show you. There's a couple more upstairs. There's at least two more in the back. It's a pretty big building. It's amazing to think that this was like a single family home at some point. Not, not uh, unbelievable, but when you think about how many people can fit, how many people can be accommodated now, it's kind of wild. Little fire pit circle there. There's a better view of it. Love this touch. Chandeliers in this tree. I don't use the word magical too often, but yo, call it what it is. Ah, uh, man, I wish I knew the street that we're on. It starts with an S and you know it. I've heard this name before, um, but 34 is the address. I'll figure out what the street name is. And there's the number to make accommodations. Castillo. So my neighbors here there's a laundry room um which uh i think we have access to nice big porch it's not a huge porch um compared to the square footage the size of the home it's it's not the biggest porch but it's more than enough room and can accommodate you <coughs> and that porch is obviously open to everybody but it's effectively mine and mr castillo over here uh, no office on site. The um, the owner. I'm gonna say Lori. I just met her, and I'm just I'm absolutely horrible with names, even though I committed it to memory. I guess I didn't. Here's the old. How cool would it be if that worked? Not necessary. Una Patuna. Hanging out on the bed. Nice little touch. I think this is an awesome color for an accent wall. Um, let me back up here and give you a, the bed, which is obviously if you're visiting and you, you need accommodations, that's probably your primary thing. That in a restroom, those are the things that you probably can't do without. What I would like to suggest is that's almost all you need at all anyway. And I know a lot of people live a very different lifestyle from what I do, but Having lived this way for uh, at least a couple of years now, um, I can tell you it's incredible the the little that you actually do need. This is a king size bed. I'm pretty sure all of the accommodations here have king size beds. Just one king size bed. This is a closet would hold. It's more room <clears throat> than I would need to hold everything that I currently possess, including the stuff that I have boxed up at family's, at my family's house. These little candles here, which I found, and I found a few more in the closet, so I'm going to get the party started with that. Shout out, Luna. Mirrors go a long way in making a small space. Uh, feel bigger. It's just a sort of illusory sort of... It's, it's not a, it's, I don't want to call it a trick, but it's definitely an illusion in the sense that your brain just gets the sense that there's more space there. So the room feels bigger than it already is, and it is big. Another thing that really helps are high ceilings. I think another thing that helps, uh, and I don't always pay attention to this until I see it, and then I really pay attention to it, is any sort of detail, any sort of lining um uh, what do you call this like recessing molding any sort of detail on the roof just pulls your eyes up i, I guess <laughs> it's what it feels like i used to sit here and look at the ceiling obviously the light fixture doesn't hurt a little ac unit uh what do they call these things i know what they are kind of like a split unit so there's that and there's another half of it outside these are all my windows. Yes, they're open. No, I don't care that people can see in. 
there's nothing that I'm doing <coughs> that uh, people don't really pay attention to you anyway. And if they're watching you on the street and they're watching you, I mean, obviously I close those, probably close them to go to sleep or at least the ones that look directly at me. As far as my possessions, nothing, man. I'm holding in my hand probably the most expensive thing that I own and that's insured, so... Uh, I know a lot of people worry about, like, theft and stuff like that. I, it's logical, I guess, to some degree, but whatever. So this little piece, I don't know. Oh, let me jump back over here momentarily. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, a gas fireplace. This was clearly like a living room. I don't know that how much all of this has changed from whatever the original structure was. That was probably a doorway or a passageway going through to the other side. Um, no, I guess this might have been a bedroom. Who knows? I don't know, but it's fun to imagine because you can kind of get a sense of like what the space was. Yeah, this is probably a bedroom, but look at how big this is. Look at how big this is. It's enormous. Okay, so this fireplace is, um, was clearly like a gas fireplace. Uh, I haven't had anything quite like that. Not that's built into the wall, <clears throat> but we had a little gas fireplace that kind of just heated the bricks, the tiles, uh, just the uh, direct flame, natural gas, I suppose, just heats the flame. It's not that now, but you can see that that's what it was. If that was preserved as that, man, we're in Florida, we're in St. Augustine. I mean, it definitely gets cold occasionally. It's uh, down in the 40s now in mid-March, if you can believe that. Um, this is not a criticism or critique of any sort i'm just saying if that was a working fireplace this would be insane just for when you need it because that sort of radiant warm heat as opposed to like blown heat or um whatever comes through like a, a hvac type unit is so much better so much different um the hvac stuff always just dries me out completely like my eyes my skin. I don't know why it's that way, but it always has been. Okay, so this is, you know, we can call this like a little, um, a little valet or something. I don't know. It's not quite a kitchen. There is a microwave. There's a mini fridge. Um, <coughs> they have an ice maker down below available. I think you would put that up on the counter to use it. Amongst the many things that I've, um, done without for the last couple of years ice is one of them i used to drink ice with everything a couple of things one i chew my ice that's probably not great so it's fine that i don't have it too i've just gotten really used to drinking things at room temperature that's probably not for everybody but again <laughs> it's just one one less thing that i have to worry about uh countertop here pardon the mess a little keurig we're chopping up some of Luna's treats. She plays hide and seek with those things. Got all the stuff to go with the coffee. There's some tea there. Uh, Bluetooth, shout out to my sister Joe for uh, loaning me this for the last three years. I promise to give it back to you one day. Little sink. I'll show you these in the restroom too. This is a real simple thing. It's not a big deal, but it's uniform. You'll see that when you see the other ones in the, in the restroom. Um, but it's like a nice design and it's clear to see what it is i like that i like that so much better than just having a bottle of dish soap and no problem with that if that is what you do that's just a nice touch easy simple my favorite thing <coughs> about this obviously that color echoes what that accent wall behind the bed is um and it's basically an accent wall for this but there's lighting behind it as you can see mirror helps there as well another mirror you know um what do you call that full length mirror for uh you know checking out the fit shout out luna tv situation couple chairs to sit in um now this room i'm not exactly sure what it would have been if this was a bedroom once upon a time or a living room pretty small for a, an eating area in a full-size home but for this it's more than enough in fact I would even say you don't need that much, but it works out nice. Another light fixture here, another mirror, 
that window was up most of the day. Um, it just looks right out into the driveway. The driveway goes to the back of the building and that's where all the parking is. Um, what do you call these? I guess that's not a pocket door. That's a, what, like a barn door? I don't know, you see what it is. But look at the detail on this door. I know it's not much. I know it's not much, but man, it makes a difference. And I tell people all the time, I think I've talked to my brother, Chris, about this the most um, here recently. Can I get more light in here? No, that's it. Is how is that not just something that you can just chisel out with a, you know, like a computer program, you know, on a whatever you would use to make it, either 3D print it on top of a, it's a simple panel of wood. But how hard would it be to do that? And just look so much different. We just don't create anything like that anymore. <laughs> we can say whatever we want about government, politics, military, I don't know, economics. But the stuff that like working class people like myself and probably you, whoever's listening, little stuff like that, you just throw that in. I mean, politics be damned. It, your life is incrementally improved with that sort of thing maybe not maybe that's not something that you're into to me i just think that's an easy simple thing to bring up <laughs> the quality of life uh so this is a restroom here obviously pretty insane uh i mean it's all the typical fixtures of course it's just really well done here's what i like about this as much as anything that's a walk-in shower in essence, this whole room is the shower. You know, the, the floor is, is constructed, I'm sure, in a way that all the water would flow to the drain uh, there. But, but it's not like a whole episode to get into the shower. This is just nice anyway. But if you have any sort of issues with mobility, um, if you've got um, it, it just it, any, sort of, any sort of pain or physical limitation that would prevent you from climbing into a basin like most homes have. Here's the thing, there's nothing to do here. You build the floor, but there's nothing to add. This isn't like a luxury add-on. It's, it's something that's taken away. Most of us shower, some of us bathe. If you do, what is up with this? Look at that. Look at that. I don't, I don't even feel like I'm supposed to touch that. I mean, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna climb in it even. I don't have any ambitions to take a bath, but if you're a bath person, you know, if I, if I was hurting or something and I needed a soak, then that's like, that's perfect. Little statue with some lighting there, simple touch, easy thing. But this, you just walk, you just look, you walk in, we're in the shower. I mean, we were always in the shower. As soon as we crossed that threshold, we were in the shower. If you talk to me long enough, you'll know how I feel about this. A window in the restroom. I'll let you connect all the dots. Why we don't build the bathrooms on a wall that has a window anymore, for the most part, most modern places that I see. I, I will never understand that. I will never understand it. I can't excuse it. This is just the easiest way to just get fresh air <coughs> into one of the spaces in everyone's home that I think could use fresh air. Uh, here's our sink situation here. This is a nice, whatever it was, it was, probably wasn't a sink for, you know, drawer, chest of drawers, I don't know. I like using words like shiffer robe. I have no idea what that means. With just a, a little basin added on. This is all stuff that's easily got. I mean, I don't see anything on here that would be exceptionally, um, hard to find or probably out of reach, you know, cost-wise. I can tell you that doesn't feel like a very cheap faucet. I know a lot of them are made with just like composite or plastic or something like that, but this is like a nice sturdy one. It feels like if you slipped and bonked your head, it, it would do some damage. And I think that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, this one's missing the, the, the tag, but this is the hand soap here. I know that because I've seen that in other rooms, lotion here. A slide back over here just to emphasize the uniformity. Shampoo, body wash, conditioner. 
nice little stand here. I don't know, man. I, I mean, the tile is probably somebody's favorite thing, and I haven't even made mention of it. It is nice, uh, easy to clean, uh, good design. I don't know, say what you want about it. I'm just really pleased with this place. What I might, oh, there's the, whatever you call this. This is like a, almost like a vanity situation with the lighting there. Shout out Luna. Another mirror. I'm gonna close these doors just so you can see how they close. Listen, <clears throat> if you're a couple, we can start talking about space. If you've got a family, like one kid, we can start talking about space. For one individual, and um, I don't know, what do you call that? 20 feet by maybe 15 or 12? Uh, what is that? 150, 300? I'm doing really trash math right now and that's not necessarily my strong suit with another, what, 100 square feet, maybe 400, maybe another, I don't know. This this, can't, this this isn't a thousand square feet. I'll put it to you like that. Maybe 700 square feet. I'm just guessing based off of apartments that I've lived in, probably less than that, maybe 600. I mean, unless you just got a lot of things and I know some people have a lot of things. I don't have any things. Everything that I brought in here, well, I did bring some drinks in, so more than one trip, but pretty much everything that's that's not a perishable that I intend to consume or consume some of, everything just came in a backpack, and it's just like all the all the space you need. Can you imagine if things were just built like this, you know, and you weren't sacrificing anything, you weren't like getting a studio and knowing that it was just going to be trash. If everything was built with, these are probably... 10 foot ceilings, I'm guessing. Me and the boys stayed in, in, in an old, old. it was a, it was a mansion uh, in Arkansas, um, in Little Rock, the Soma, South Main District. <coughs> and um, it, it was a mansion that was subdivided into other rooms. Some of them were apartments. Some of them were, um, uh, I think we stayed on that through Airbnb on a trip to Houston from Nashville area. Um, and it had giant ceilings, taller than this, probably 12 foot ceilings. I'm telling you just that the ceiling space, the head space, the amount of natural outdoor light that comes in. And it's, 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 I don't know. This is direct light in the sense that it's coming directly, but it's all shaded. Like everything's shaded. That wall over there shares a, um, a, you know, the alleyway, like the driveway to get to the back. So that's east, more or less. Sun's coming up over here somewhere. You're not, you know, necessarily getting blinded. I'll have a better view of that in the in the morning when the sun wake, uh, rises. But then this, you've got a porch. You've got all those trees, all that green in the front. So it's not light in that sense. It's not just uh, blinding sunlight, just pouring in. But it's just going to... And I know this from sleeping in the truck and, and the car, um, you know, where you just, it's glass 360 degrees. I don't typically sleep with anything blocking or blinding, uh, uh, blocking out the view or anything like that, covering the windows. So when the sun comes up, the, the interior of the vehicle gets bright. Um, but it's subtle and it's slow, you know, it starts at whatever, 5.30, 5.45 and warms up at 6 and then the <clears throat> sun's peaking at 7 and, you know, by 9 o'clock, your body's just naturally feeling like getting up. If you still need to sleep, you can sleep because it's nothing to just cover your eyes. But that's the same thing that happens in a space like this with all these windows. You open that bathroom, there's a little bit of light coming from that window there. There's the the dining, the, the table area there, there'll be light coming in from there. You've got all these windows. They're not floor to ceiling and they're not wall to wall, but pretty substantial, pretty substantial the area. And it's just going to just be light, just pouring in. Um, since I'm yammering about it anyway, 
I'll also just show you the, the pull down blinds just to show you the amount of privacy that these afford you. Now granted, uh, you know, it's not like airtight, I suppose. Somebody were to want to peek in, I guess they could. I'm not saying that that doesn't happen in the world, but in my experience, it just doesn't happen frequently enough for me to be concerned by it or feel threatened by it. Let's see. There's a lot of noise you probably didn't ask for. I'm just gonna see what it's like with all the, <clears throat> maybe not all the lights out. Maybe we just dim this one. Let's see, turn off the vanity light. Oh, wait, whoa, 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 what is this? What is that? Somebody knows what that is and it's not me. It's a warmer, I guess so after you fog it up with your stand in the room shower, You put some candles up there. Again, this is not for me, but somebody's into that. Look at this, dim these lights. Dim that light, buddy. There you go, look at that. Look at that. Unfortunately, this one doesn't dim. It's just a switch on and off, um, but that's okay. That's okay, so we'll turn this one off. And that's my favorite light, so. It's kind of a bummer that that one doesn't dim. You've got the chandelier fixture, chandelier type fixture at the top. Look at this. Come on down a little bit. Come on down. There you go. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. That's what you need right there. Candle situation. These are like little plastic ones, by the way. I, I forget what these are called, but effectively candles. That's that's what their that's what their function is. Shout out Luna. I could I could have probably brought up that light a little bit more, but you see you see what's going on here. so simple it's so simple this is all basic stuff it's just nice it's it's just easy on the eyes you know you've got some aesthetics i i th this is like a, this room's pink that's fine i don't care doesn't uh threaten me <laughs> in any way i would pick a different color if this were my space and and it was my you know my, uh, I had the opportunity to do so. Wondering what color though. I'm really wondering what color because it really looks Just these features, these beams, these lines here, the framing, if you had another mirror, obviously you got the door and the little metal work at the top. Um, I'm just curious what color I would go with. You know, I'm thinking of greens. I'm thinking of like dark greens, dark green the way these are dark blue something like that maybe a dark red i don't know who knows and there you go i mean you can see it's pretty I, I never showed you the blinds but there you go look look nobody can see you and if they could nobody's looking nobody cares everybody's out here doing their own thing somebody's gonna take points off from me not having the the pillow set up before I did this. There you go. That's it. I just want to show that off. Uh, little bed area. Got this little seating thing, I suppose, if you needed it. You know, you could probably put a couch in here. I think I would have the bed there. And I had a couch that I loved. It's it's still kind of in the family, I suppose. 
Um, it's at somebody else's house now. I, I don't care to necessarily have it back, but I love that couch because it was just a nice, big, long couch um, called a Kobe or Colby that World Market made, and I got it on sale, and I got it in sort of like a burnt orange color. Almost, almost like that, but a darker orange the way that's blue. Like it was like a dark orange. It was, and it still is. Um, with a single cushion across it, which I love. So nothing gets caught in the cracks and crevices. Obviously there were crevices like space for stuff to fall in at the end of the cushion, but it was one singular cushion. I used that as a mattress several times when my back would be like just in really bad shape because it would allow me to sleep on the floor without actually sleeping on the solid floor. So I would do the bed here, maybe a couch here. I mean, nothing wrong with this seating. Everything in here looks fine. I'm just imagining what I would put. But even this, I'm fine. You know what I love? <laughs> Not that you asked. As you have a look around, See your little entranceway, you got a little space to come in there. You got some lights available to you. <coughs> Thermostat, <coughs> windows, seating area, dining area, should you need it, restroom, mirrors, little uh, little valet type situation there, kitchenette thing. You could probably put something more in there if you, you know, if you lived in something like this permanently, but you know, what's there is sufficient. Nice closet, see all the the design, the lines, the framing, the just the blocking, the mirrors in these places. And don't be mad at me. But that TV almost disappears in a space like this. A and that TV is probably the only place where you could put a TV. I, I can imagine some people you know what, I'm not gonna worry about where other people put their TV. I'm just saying, for me, that even that is more TV than, than what I need. And I'm not knocking the television, it's just television is like front and center of the entire house in pretty much everyone's home. And if you're like me, it it's maybe not the TV taking center stage in your home, but you've got a device in your hand all the time. So enough about the philosophical, ethical thoughts on television and programming and vegging out in front of it for all of the hours of our life that we have available to live. Um, I'm just pleased that this room is not designed around a television. It, it's it's almost like a, like a gallery. It's almost like a gallery in an art, art, art gallery of some sort. Oh. So that's it. I don't know. I just, I, I think I've run out of things to talk about. I'm just wanting to remember this space. Uh, just because I, I really appreciate it, you know, and I think if you see something and you like it, you should capture it and, and, um, you know, if if it's appropriate, share it. I mean, I've got a billion pictures of this dog. Probably 90% of which never even get published anywhere to share. Um, but, you know, it's just, this is just, this is an inspiration for me if I ever had a, a, a space like this. Just gives me design ideas. This is, this is dumb. This is crazy. Because that's more bath than anybody has. And that's more shower than anybody has. And it really was not that big of a leap, you know? It's not like the difference between a, uh, you know, your first hoopty of a car and the thing that you get when you close a big deal for your firm and reward yourself with something top of the line, year model and state of the art. It's not a big jump like that. This is simple stuff. This is simple. That basin probably cost a, a bit of money just because I know people charge for things like that. You got little feet on there. Come on. You, you know somebody's going to make you pay for that. You got the plumbing, the piping and everything. 
So that probably costs something, but otherwise, this is just simple, man. It's just walls and a floor to walk on. So that's it. That's it. I think I'll leave it at that. I'm going to let her sleep, but I'll walk back out just to give you one more view of the exterior. I saw a house a couple of, a uh, couple of, couple of homes down and I'm sure there's more than one but they had a couple of fans on the porch and I would uh, definitely be a fan of that so long as I don't fall off the porch walking backwards and blind to give you this shot I, I just ceiling fans anything to move the air especially in a place like Florida where you know it gets hot and humid Lions and Lantern Inn. Look them up. You got the number. I did not figure out what that address was. I wish I had. Love from St. Augustine, Florida. Wish you guys were here.